Okay, so Peter, we've had a really fascinating lecture from you this, uh, this afternoon, and we've got several questions that one of the groups has come up with in, in discussion with you that we'd, we'd just like you to answer and probe a little bit more deeply some of the things. So the first question is, does prayer change us, or does it change the situation or person that we're praying for? I think prayer does change us. How we explain that might be quite difficult, mm. um, but certainly it should make us much more aware of the situation and much more aware of what we can contribute and how we can help to improve or support the person that's needing our prayers, the mm. person we're praying for. Mm. Um, the second part of the question was... Does it affect but, them directly? Yeah. Um, certainly, if they can see and know that we're supporting them and with them and alongside them and that we're bringing the knowledge of God's love to them, um, I see that it does support them and help them. Yeah. Um, whether it... Uh, and I think that helps them to cope with the illness or the situation or whatever it is that they're having to cope with and suffer at that time. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Can you think of an instance when prayer has made a difference to a patient? Of course, that's, that's always a slightly difficult question because you never know when mm. patients have either been prayed for or what they've been praying themselves. Mm. Uh, but I do know... Um, I have known people with a Christian faith who I know have been prayed for or who, who, who have prayed themselves um, and it has helped them to cope better and to support themselves more and to know that people are supporting them. So um, in that sense, I think that is the case, yeah. Excellent, yeah. Now, in, in your keynote, you made a distinction between praying for healing and praying for curing, and I think you said that you felt happier praying for healing. But how might we move alongside someone in prayer when they're actually hoping for a cure? Yeah. So w what we're saying there really is, can someone have a physical cure of their disease? And should we be praying for that? Now, clearly, I think we can pray for that. My question always is what are we expecting what are we actually praying for and, and so often um, I think we have to say that we cannot expect a physical cure um, so but we can expect some healing for the person allowing them to cope more to have a fulfilled life even a fulfilled life even if they've still got mm. the disease um, so, is that answering the question? I can't... I think so, yes. Yes, I can't yeah. just exactly remember what it was. And is there a specific way we should pray, pray if the person is really wanting, wanting a cure? A cure. Um, well, personally, we can pray for them. Mm. We can let them know that we are praying for them. Um, we can tell them what we are hoping and praying for. I'm not sure whether we should say to them we're expecting yeah. what we find it very difficult to expect personally. Okay, thank you. And turning our attention a little bit to the doctors, how, how do we pray for physicians? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, uh, I think some need it more than others. But <laughs> um, I think it's very important that... Um, Physicians um, ought to have a vocation mm. in their work. They certainly are trained professionally and ought to act professionally. Mm. And I would hope that all physicians, and I know it's very difficult in some situations, but I would hope that all physicians have some element of compassion in their yeah. treatment of patients. Mm. Yeah. So I think we've got to pray for them to be supported and strengthened and know that what they're doing is for the good of the patient and to try and help them in difficult situations to do that. Okay, thank you. And a final question. How do prayer and medical interventions complement each other? Well, part of it is, I guess, is 
following, one, following on what I've just said, that I, I think um, uh, part of praying should help medical people, both medics and uh, paramedics, to um, do what they're doing, provide what they're doing in a compassionate, professional way. So part of it is, is how things are delivered. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, and then part of it is helping patients to understand what is possible, how, um, what one can expect from treatment, yeah. and how that can affect their lives, and how they can, if you like, use that to make their lives of a whole, in the whole have a better feeling of well-being. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's been good to be here. Thank you. Yeah.